Boop. Boop. Today, we're gonna make something useful. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, today uh, we're gonna try to make something useful. If you remember this, this is my M14R1 that I did the little liquid metal treatment to way back when. Still running, so surprisingly. Uh, no issues, it's, well, other than it's really old, but it runs fine. Problem though, as with most gaming laptops, when you play with it on your lap, it's hot. And if you don't have good air circulation, well, it gets hotter. So, we're gonna make a laptop pad. And as always, all this stuff will be on my Thingiverse account. If you have a 3D printer and you have some time and you have a laptop and you want to make yourself a little laptop pad, you can go ahead and do it. And it's pretty much pretty simple. Four piece design, the size of this M14R1. Uh, you could just buy a laptop pad, probably easier. But you know, if you do it yourself, you get customization uh, to put the fan exactly where you need it. Most of the time when you buy a laptop pad, you kind of get a generic fan placement or just a few fans that are in roughly a good location. But since I made this one, I know that the fan for this laptop is going to fall right where this hole is. And yes, this hole is not ideal. I did have a nice honeycomb grate modeled in there to print and well, the printer just couldn't handle it. I'm going to leave the the grate design or the, the grill design on there. So if you have a printer that maybe has a little bit more um, functionality than mine or maybe a little bit better, it'll print good for you. But we're gonna put one fan here. And as I mentioned, yes, no grate. So that means put your fingers in there, you're gonna have a bad time. But that, I have a Silverstone fan. And if you know anything about Silverstone fans, you know on the back side of almost all of them have you know this little air or like the flow straightener that's gonna act as a grill so convenient to power the fan we're just gonna use a simple USB fan adapter you can buy these on Amazon very cheap so that's just gonna power our fan off of one of our USB ports shouldn't be an issue and it's as simple as that and we're gonna see if it actually helps any in keeping our temperatures nice and cool so I'm gonna put this fan in here, then we're gonna run Ida64 on basically a desk, so best case scenario for laptop cooling. Then we're gonna do the dreaded fuzzy blanket test. And then after we get those numbers, we're gonna run it again on this laptop pad with the fan blowing cold air directly at our intake fan and see if that helps us out at all. And we'll go from there. This is the first practical thing I have made with my 3D printer, other than like brackets, I guess, but it's kind of amazing. I guess all the random stuff though is very fun. It might not serve a purpose, but nonetheless, it's worthwhile. That works pretty good for a little finger protector. Now this, this seems pretty simple, and it is, but I did put a little bit of thought into how I was gonna make this work. I left a nice rib here in the back to give you like the main support for the laptop so you don't just crush it. I even added a nice little pass-through for our USB cord. And there's a nice lip all the way around to keep said laptop from slipping and sliding. And I also countersunk these screw holes. I won't say it took me years to make this, but I didn't just go all willy-nilly. Like my normal, my normal willy-nilly. All right. There you go. And on the back side, this, I mean, this laptop, you have basically two grills, but if you remember from that video where we took it apart, only this side really has a cooler. So there's a cooling fender there that goes to both the CPU and the GPU. And that's really the only side I'm concerned with. If you were gonna make this for a larger laptop, you could take the model, mirror this over if the fan is on the same spot, and then you could open it up, shrink it down to whatever you need to do. But if you have a 14 inch laptop with a fan in the top left corner, this should, this should work not that bad. You know what, on second thought, I am gonna glue the seams here cause I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna plan on using this downstairs. So just so it doesn't fall apart. So this is made of PLA and surprisingly this acrylic weld on four is my favorite thing to use to glue PLA. It's so thin it just gets into every single crack. 
really easy and it, it it really works good to melt these basically it fuses the plastic almost together acts pretty similar to how it does when you use it on acrylic so fun fact if you're looking for a good easy way to glue glue some PLA together get some weld on four and go so I'm gonna let that run for about I don't know 20 minutes 15 20 minutes won't take long for this air cooler to heat up I have both the CPU and a GPU stress test going because it does share a single uh, cooler and after 20 minutes we'll see how it does this is best case scenario for a laptop on a hard surface best airflow possible and we'll be back okay so it hasn't really been 15 minutes but we have leveled off in temperature we're not really I'm not really seeing much change now it's about 85 degrees on a desk a hard surface best case scenario for said laptop now I gotta go find me a fuzzy blanket and uh, we'll try that this is best case scenario fuzzy blanket look at that it's even got dog hair on it to add added realism so now let's start it back up let it cook off for around 15 minutes again and see where we level off this time which I can only assume is not gonna be as good so to no one's surprise we're maxed out we're about 100 degrees I mean we're sitting around 80s but we are seeing a little bit of thermal throttling as we hit that peak which I think we can all expect with that kind of airflow so now we try this in hopes that this gets us well it should give us at least as good as it on a hard table but we're hoping for better than I think what 85 even got a nice little red LED to match the laptop itself Let's see how it works interesting so this is actually working better than I thought right now we're sitting around 79 80 degrees which considering we were 85 on a hard table five degrees is a lot more than I thought we were gonna get out of it just goes to show how much how much a little Silverstone 120 millimeter fan can really help out the little blower fan inside this laptop but there you go something useful to come off my channel and like always I'll put this on my Thingiverse account so you guys can download this model modify it in any way you need to make it fit whatever laptop you have if you have a 14 inch laptop with a cooling fan in the top left corner this should work no problem if you got a better printer than me you might be able to print the grill but if you can't just do no grill and get yourself a Silverstone fan because they got that nice cover on the back or that little flow straightener that so you don't poke your fingers in there I'll leave links to this fan USB power cable the Silverstone fan that I'm using um, I'll put the PLA that I use I'll even put the weld on for because that stuff I think is amazing for glue and PLA and it's kind of hard to find but thank you guys for watching if you have any ideas for other useful things you would like me to make on this channel let me know in the comments down below thank you guys for watching